Hello everyone, welcome to My Data Studio. In this video, we're going to continue learning how to use Google Maps API. So in this video, we're going to learn how to use Google Maps autocomplete function. We'll learn how to add it to the current website and how to put a marker and detail window to this new address. Okay, now let's go. Welcome to the second part of using Google Maps API on your website. So last time we successfully uh, run our application. So we can um, show the map on our website successfully. Now this time we're going to add some more elements to our website. For example, uh, we're going to try to add a search a box where you can use the autocomplete function of the Google Maps API. So in order to do that, you first need to enable the places APIs. Um, it's a separated uh, libraries from the Google Maps uh, JavaScript APIs. So in your uh, HTML uh, file, in the script tag, uh, you need to add a lot and the libraries equals to places in here and the rest remains the same, okay? Uh, if you are not familiar with how to do autocomplete because it's quite, I would say quite smart, uh, with autocomplete, we don't have to type in the whole address anymore. It's really spoiling us. So you can go to the solution library of Google Maps platform and you can see its example and its uh, uh, simplified codes to get an idea of how to use it and what it would look like if you type in certain keywords here and you can select where you want to go. And also, I believe it's code uh, also allows you to kind of like set a boundary of your search so that um, you would not search out of bound. Sometimes you're in the USA, but then you search something from Canada, uh, that's just too far away, okay? So anyway, so now we, uh, let's see how to add autocomplete to our uh, to our website. So here we already have our init map function, which is the callback function. So we do not move that. So in the, our HTML file, we first need to create an area where we will have the autocomplete function. For example, let's add um, a part here. Let's call it uh, autocomplete. And uh, inside here, we have a input box where we call the search box. Uh, type is hex place holder. Of course, you can also put in a button. And let's add some um, station to it. Let's see how it looks right now. Yeah, we'll have the little box where we can uh, look for the place. Okay, now let's use this little info box to find and autocomplete the places that you want to go to. So uh, I will try not to disturb our init map function to make it more uh, concise. Uh, we're going to add another function. Uh, let me call that function autocomplete. It's OK. So in here, we're going to create a function. Um, Call auto complete. And let's, uh, in here, we need to create an object that would do the auto complete connected to the uh, libraries and use the function. So in here, we are going to define that function. We're going to define the object. So auto complete is. Uh, where do we want to use this autocomplete function? 
we're going to do user um, element by ID auto complete. Yep. So where are we going to use it? And uh, let's try to bind it to the map that we have here so that um, after complete, it will, uh, it will show on the map. And now uh, let's try to create a, auto, a marker that would mark this new searched position. It's called auto marker. Uh, I need to put it on the map, uh, but also need to put it somewhere. But right now we don't know, so we can pass in this uh, function is uh, put it uh, somewhere like um, a point on the map with its um, coordination on the map. All right, so now we need to add a listener to where the autocomplete magic happens. So, uh, so Google Maps has provided several like events that we can uh, identify and uh, provide a function to uh, when we when the user do something there. So we just use those keywords and those events. Uh, it will simplify how we define our user's behavior. So once the place uh, changed, a place changed means that when a user um, select an address in the drop down list that, that usually pops up, uh, it's going to uh, do something. So, what is it going to do? Uh, let's do this. First, we need to make the marker invisible, set visible. Yeah, uh, so that we can, you know, change the location without anybody noticing anything. And now the user has selected a place. So let's get it out of this um, uh, black box. It's get place. Use this function to get the place. Uh, we will get the searched position uh, out of this place. So position, place, uh, geometric uh, location. So now we have the location. We're gonna put a marker on that location. I'll also need to show that location on, on the map. But uh, we also need to write like kind of like an exception function. So we need to make sure that this place is demonstrable. Place.geometric. Or like this, like we try to make sure that this place is half like valid. This place have like this place has valid va value that we can use. We okay. So sorry. Uh, I will try to do this. Say no infor information found for for places else. So if this location is legit. Um, if place geometric or like kind of like if we can view it, make the map fit the bound. We pass the viewport to the map. If not, so. We put the location to to the map center and we zoom in. And after this, we put the marker on the position. So show the marker. Uh, let's try to do something more later. Okay, now uh, let's try to load it. For example, let's go to my location. Oh, yes, I'll let you. It's fine. Supermarket. Oh, but there's nothing shown. Let's see what's the problem here. I think there's some typo here. Yeah, 
this should do. There's a, uh, something wrong with the code. So it seems that some of the name has been used uh, incorrectly. So let's have a look at uh, if some of those uh, stuff. Oh, yeah. So we put in a ROM ID. So let me switch that so that it's more, it's easier to understand. Okay, it seems that not work. Let's go to my location first. Right, it finds me. Then let's look for a grocery store like Whole Food. Okay, now click that. And now we go to the Whole Food Market. Right. Um, now let's try to add some gadget to this um, to this autocomplete. For example, uh, we could already provide a, a marker. Let's try to provide an info window. Info window. So this is a fairly interesting object that we can use to pass in some uh, information that you want to uh, demonstrate on this map, probably pro from other platform. So for example, uh, let me create a con content. content. Let's create content. Um, Name. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's set it the content info windows content to this info content and we open the info window on the marker. Let's go to my location. And let's look for giant eagle. Okay, let's go to this one. Hey, giant eagle. Nice. Cool. If you want to see more code example, you can always go to solution libraries like I have shared before and um, hope you enjoy learning with this video. And if you wanted to try some more functions, uh, welcome to follow me and subscribe and your encouragement is my greatest motivation. Thank you and see you next time.